Good morning. Well, it's morning here. may not be morning where you're watching. However, it's nice to be back with you after a couple of amazing weeks. Really, really worrying this last week. And we now have a full lockdown where 3,000 people are locked in their own homes in the high-rise flats in North Melbourne and Flemington. So COVID has come back into our midst with a real vengeance. And perhaps it wasn't managed as well as it could have been. Perhaps we were a little bit careless as we came back into what we thought was normal living. We know that there are people in those lockdowns right now who have psychosocial disabilities um, within their NDIS assessments and there are other people and who would blame anybody who's there from having a really strong reaction to what's happening to them with stress and anxiety uh, that's going to be with them for some years. Those of you that are not in those situations I know we'll be thinking about those people and we're looking at ways that we might help with our telephone line. We are going to be running a new telephone service that is exactly for people who've been impacted by COVID. And that telephone service will be up in the next couple of weeks. We'll let you all know about it, both from me talking and it's also putting something on the website. At the moment, we're designing it. Uh, we've been funded by the government to develop a program that supports people who've been impacted by COVID and who are finding that the Lifeline and uh, Beyond Blue programs are not quite what they need because they tend to be more about referral. But this will be a line that allows you to talk to somebody about what's happening and we hope go away feeling supported. It will be both a phone and we will also be looking at possibly doing groups um, that will help people connect with each other. We think that connection at the moment is absolutely essential. As we've said, keep your physical distance, but maintain your social connections. So we're going to put that into practice over the next few weeks and then over the next 12 months while we have the funding. So that is a really important piece of work that we are working on right now related to COVID and it couldn't be more timely. And we're very pleased that the Victorian government through the Department of Health has given us the funding to do that. It's a recognition that Vimeac's members are important and that we need to be providing you with more support. So in designing this with the department, we've been thinking of you and your responses to the survey we did around your experience of COVID and how it's impacting on your health. I'd also like to say that there are a lot of surveys happening. We are supporting some of those so you'll see them on our website. Uh, there are some that we've decided that we won't support because we don't want to put so much pressure on people, but there are some that will really help us to be more effective in the way we support you. So just keep an eye on the website. And if it's there, it's because we think that this is potentially a really good piece of work. We'd like to thank you for all the support you've given us by helping us think through how we're responding to the Royal Commission and we're sending in our report next week that says how we feel about the implementation. We're also re releasing next week our report on seclusion. This is the second report from Vimeac. You'll find that on the website also next week. So there's going to be a bit of light reading and uh, we hope you let us know what you think about what you've said and how we've reported it. 
I think that's all from me today. Uh, I'd like you to have a really good week. I'd like you to keep your distance and maintain your connections. Bye.